He probably is only three feet tall or something. Hello, mister. Give you a little pet. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Alright guys, Mobile, Alabama, location number two, this Spirit Halloween inside an old CVS. This is actually supposed to be location number three, but I couldn't find location number two. Apparently it was non-existent. It took me to a place where there was neither a Goodwill that it was supposed to be or a Spirit Halloween. So we're going to call this one location number two. But anyways, yes, this is in an old CVS and this I love how this looks. This actually looks pretty dang spooky, guys. You can see up here where there used to be signs on the building, and now it just says Spirit Halloween. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Anyways, all right, let's go ahead in here. Second location, Mobile, Alabama, and see what kind of awesome Halloweeniness they have inside the doors right here as we enter. Thank you, not door. Thank you, thank you automatic door. And right in the door you can see where it used to be a CVS. Look, you can also see where it used to say CVS Pharmacy right up here. Anyways guys, I'm liking the way this store looks. I'm already seeing some things peeking out that are not set up in other stores. They are taking up the spaces because they don't have the animatronics. So first, let's come over here and visit Possessed Pumpkin. All right, come on mister, there you go. The night for fright. <laughs> it's funny, they have him turned down and he still is loud. <laughs> Let's come over and see Grim before we go anywhere else. Okay. What the heck is that sound? It sounds like fighter planes flying overhead. Okay, that's good. So for the first thing, we have the inflatable Sam sitting up here. This is where the Tombstone of Terror would be if they had him set up, but they got Sam here. Then right next to him, they have Shorty. Let's go ahead and get him going. And again, he doesn't have his gloves on. What the heck is going on with Shorty and no gloves? And look around this corner, guys. They have the inflatable ghost face here. If you remember, I bought this guy recently and he is so awesome. Look at the pumpkin down here, spooky pumpkin face. And then you got ghost face on top with his blade. All right, let's go ahead through the tunnel with the bubbles of death and look who they have sitting in here. The sitting scarecrow. All right, let's see if he works. Sitting, okay, I'm kind of glad that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I totally forget about these things all the time. Anyways, okay, let's leave him some goodness in his little bucket here. Somebody come trick-or-treating and get you some stickers. We don't have Barry set up in here, but we do have all four bubble tubes of death running. Is this going up here? Yeah, that's working up there. Okay, let's keep moving here. All right, look at what we got over here, guys. We got a Reagan. We have a Monty over here. We got a Nozzles on the bottom. There's the game. We're going to play Nozzles on the bottom. Here's a Skelly Bones. We got another Skelly Bones over here, another Nozzles on the bottom, and a Possessed Pumpkin. Speaking of nozzles, I can hear him back here, so let's come back here and give him a little visit. Hello, Nazi. I hear you. Oh, look at this. Only one of his nozzles is actually lighting up, and his eyes are not lighting up. It's funny because I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to his orange shoes. So for anybody who misses it, since we haven't seen Johnny Punk this year, what are those? We got Lucky Bottoms here. Let's get him going. He's turned down way low too. Look, he's holding onto this spiral thing for dear life. Hold on so you don't spiral out of control. That happens sometimes for people with no butt. Oh, look over here, guys. We have the inflatable wolf. 
I actually didn't realize that he's that small. He probably is only three feet tall or something. Hello, mister. Give you a little pet. <laughs> I couldn't resist. But yeah, I expected him to be much bigger. And if you compare him with little Skelly Bones, who... Let's get him going here. Come on now, Skelly. Come on now, Skelly. Come on. Come on, Skelly. Come on. <laughs> Look at his shirt. Yeah, looking at him, you know how tall he is, and you can see how tall that wolf is. I thought he was like twice the size of that. And of course, we have Reagan over here. Let's go ahead and get her going just so that we can say we did. All right, there you go. Let's go ahead through the electrical tunnel of death. I think I'm going through backwards again. I always do this wrong. Nothing tried to kill me. What in the world? I actually made it through the tunnel of death and nothing tried to kill me. All right, let's come on over here, guys, because I see our creepy dolls. Let's check out who they have. We have seen a lot of hugs dolls this season in these spirits, guys. Here they have one, two, three. They have two pumpkin nester dolls down here. And then, of course, we have Eerie Emma, who we see in almost every single store. Here's two more Eerie Emmas. We got a couple of decrepit haunted dolls there. And two Rosalies. We have some zombie babies. Man, they just must be selling out of any other zombie babies that they get, aside from these two, because these are the two that we are seeing the most of in these stores. In fact, I think I saw like nine of this guy in one. Holy crap, look, he only has one eye. He read the map wrong with his one eye. I'm also seeing less and less of the hook eye guy and the hook head hog. And I don't see either of them here. But we do have three of the creeping cats and one of the secret keeping cats. So I bought this guy a little while back here this season because I love him so much. But I was teasing Marion this morning saying I was going to buy a real black cat and name him Secret. <laughs> Hello, rat and rat and rat. All right, we got Empty Soul Girl on a swing. We have two creepy crimson girls on a swing. We have plenty of pathway markers. Okay, maybe not plenty, but we do have three. We have door knockers. We have side steppers. We have inflatables. Oh, we do have some jack-o'-lantern pathway markers here. Two of them. All right, let's go on over this way and see if we can find any more animatronics or anything like that for sale on the floor here. And it doesn't look like it, at least back here. This is just all costumes. I'm not personally into the Ouija stuff, but let's look at this. So I have Ouija boards. They have Ouija candles that look like the Ouija board. They have Ouija mugs with the, I can't even think of what you call that thing. Planchette, I think it's called. We have this skull, which I think actually looks pretty dang awesome. Look, it says Ouija on top, and the top actually comes off. We got this mug that has the Ouija board on it. Uh, let's see, a Ouija blanket here, a Ouija pillow. <laughs> I almost uh, messed up because I saw this and I almost called it a planchette, which I'm pretty sure that's what this is called, but I almost called the pillow a planchette, and I guess technically it is. Anyway, let's go on down here, guys. Look at this. We have an operation game from the Nightmare Before Christmas with Oogie Boogie as the victim. We have the plush zero with a little pumpkin nose, and then this zero down here, the plastic one with the pumpkin nose. We have the burlap Oogie Boogies, but I have not seen the green ones for a while in the stores. People must really like the green ones, because those are the only ones that I'm seeing recently. Plenty of Beetlejuice stuff. Look how many of these little Lydia sidesteppers they have. Holy crap, there's six of them there. And look at the signs up here. I don't even know. Four, eight, tw and eleven Beetlejuice signs. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. Anyways, so down here we have Sinister Spirit dolls. We have some Chuckies and some Tiffany's. And then up here we have even more Sinister Spirit dolls. So this one is only 40 bucks, guys. I am such a sucker for things that were used in movies. And this was in the new Spirit Halloween movie. And I want to buy it so bad. But I don't think I will because even though I have a house now, I still have to be careful with how much space because I don't have a whole lot of space. I have an office and then I have an extra room down there. 
but it's still not a ton of space. I might end up having to take a bunch of stuff to storage that I bought this season anyway, but okay, another day Sinister Spirit doll. Look at this, we actually have three sitting Sam dolls. Those are getting harder to find in the stores, guys. People love those, they're buying them all up, including these two plushies right here with the regular burlap head and with this scary spooky pumpkin head. We've got hanging ghost face, hanging Sam. We've even got the five foot hanging Beetlejuice snake. They have three of the Killer Clowns snow globes, but I'll tell you what, guys. My son just found a Headless Horseman snow globe. So now I am on the lookout for one of those because I absolutely love the Headless Horseman. They do have the Crouchy statues here. In fact, they have one, two, three, four of them. They have these bobbling bobblers. They are pretty well stocked with the tiny terrors. I always want to call these Toonie Terrors because they have toys like action figures that are called Toonie Terrors. I love these pumpkin lights. Let's see if one will, oh yeah, there he goes. He lights up. That is so cool. I don't know why I haven't bought one of those. We also have the Michael Myers string lights, which we can't have the song playing for very long. We have the Killer Clowns inflatable. In fact, we have two of them. We have four Sam inflatables, three Chucky greeters, and two Sam greeters. Whoa, I don't think I've seen this before. This Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface mug. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like the color, how it's in the inside. That is pretty dang awesome. And look at this big one here. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is like a stein. <laughs> it's a huge mug, red inside. It looks like a circus tent. I don't see any fleece blankets that we haven't seen, but I do like how everything in the store can match up. So like if you wanted to have a movie night and you wanted to watch something like Nightmare Before Christmas, you got this throw you could get so you're comfortable while you're sitting on the couch. You could get the bouncy zero pillow, a welcome mat to welcome your guests to the movie night. You got the Nightmare Before Christmas door cover here. You got these things that hang on your fireplace mantle, the lace wall decor just to hang on the wall. These awesome purple glasses, which you could actually take and put little tea candles in and set them around the room. That would be spooky. Mugs if you're gonna have hot chocolate for the party. Tumblers if you're gonna have some other kind of drinks or cider and donuts. And even little Nightmare Before Christmas throw pillows. And of course they have costumes here. You could dress up or you could wear pajamas and you could have like the socks on. If it's cold, you could have a Nightmare Before Christmas hat. Guys, I can't remember if we looked at Monty yet. Let's go ahead and give him a hello. Hello, Monty. He's actually working how he should. All right, good deal. Anyways, there's all kinds of awesome stuff in every department that you could use to have sweet movie nights. Hocus Pocus, we all know the new Hocus Pocus movie just came out. And then over here, they even have pajamas, which we've looked at before. I wonder if they have Nightmare Before Christmas. I see Beetlejuice. I see Gremlins. I see Friday the 13th and Chucky and Freddy and Sam. Hmm. Wow, that's strange. I can't believe they don't have Nightmare Before Christmas. Ghost face on the end here and spirit. Yeah, it could just be this store because I'm pretty sure that I have seen them before anyway. Hello, monkey bones. What in the world? Squishy ramen noodles. What the heck? All right, guys, that is it for spirit number two in Mobile. Alabama. I love the way that store looks. Let's just look at it one more time here. I think that is super creepy. Just something about it. I don't know. Maybe just the label scars up there on the top or something, but super creepy. Mm -hmm.